Hello Virgo, this is Renee and welcome. This is going to be your reading. The next 48 hours, what's going on, what's happening, what you can expect. And if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. I've already drawn the cards to save some time so that the video doesn't go very long. So let's jump into it. Okay Virgo, we have in the near past we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay so something is coming to you very soon right we also have playfulness a to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine okay so there's some kind of romance coming forward for you this may be someone from the past because we have the six of cups energy it doesn't have to be this could be just some kind of offer or gift that's um coming to you but i feel like there's a really big possibility for some of you that there may be a past love that's renewed and by doing that is like bringing out that newness that playfulness you know in that feeling that you get from a new situation kind of like childhood love right so we have the emperor the six of cups and the king of cups so definitely i feel like there's someone who's in your life who may be controlling or they may be high in power but i feel like this person is very assertive this may be the person coming in from the past. Um, but I feel like this person still has eyes on you. This person you may have children with. Right? Um, and I feel like they, they think very highly of you. But they may have controlling issues. Okay? Um, there is someone else. Virgo. We also have this King of Cups energy. So I'm getting a different vibe from this King of Cups. I'm getting someone who's very nurturing. Someone who's not controlling but can control their emotions. They may be holding back and not showing you exactly how much they care. Right? But I feel like this person is very supportive. So this person may be part of your support system dealing with the Emperor here. Okay, but I feel like that king is standing by. Okay, they're standing by if you need them. Okay, so in the present, we have by the book. So there's something that you're doing the right way or what you think is the right way. Okay, we have the number 11. These are angel numbers. So you could be very spiritual. You may be going by the Bible, right? You may be going by the good book uh, about the situation. Um, that may be the reason why, you know, you want things to be fair. But you're going through healing, okay? There's something that you're healing from. And once you go through this healing, look at this. You go from the emperor to the three of swords in reverse to two of cups. So somewhere along the line, you find yourself and you also find new love. Okay. Um, so I feel like this healing is very beneficial for you. This is something that you need to go through. Okay. You need to go through this healing. It's very important for your progress. Okay. I feel like at this moment what you want is to be heard, to be seen, to be recognized. You want to have that equal give and take. Okay. You definitely want something to go fair. You want something to go your way. Okay. Um, but I feel like you, you're really looking for balance. You're... you're Wanting to create something totally different. Okay. And I have, I feel like you have all the resources to do that. Because look. If we look at this. The magician. He's pointing right at the six of swords. So I feel like you are intending on moving. 
in a totally different direction, a totally different direction that's going to take you into calmness, that's going to take you into a lot of improvements, a lot of increase, right? Um, but I feel like you're, you're creating something. You're trying to bring something down to earth. And you, you may be working very hard on the situation, okay? In the near future, we have passion. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career, okay? So if you've been stuck in your career for a very long time, I feel like this could be you teaming up with someone. This could be you gaining some kind of new partnership that's going to bring you a lot more increase, that's going to bring you good news. I feel like if you've been waiting for some kind of good news, you're going to receive that, but you need to listen. You need to pay attention at, you know, what is surrounding you. Follow your intuition, okay? There's something you need to hear, so pay attention to that. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. So definitely, I feel like the Empress, you are this Emperor's counterpart, Right? You're very fertile. So like I said, I feel like you may have children with this emperor. So you may feel like you were destined to meet this emperor. Right? But I feel like, you know, if you feel like you're in a toxic situation, it will lead you to a better position by following your heart. Okay, now you have the two of cups and the lovers. So I feel like there's a very good chance that you're going to be falling in love. Okay, if you're not already in love, I feel like this is coming forward for you um, very, very soon. Okay, um, but I feel like there's, there's a need for you to watch out for someone. Someone who doesn't have the best of intentions. Someone who wants to be very controlling. Okay, this may be this emperor energy. Someone wants to stop you in your tracks. Someone wants to stop you from being seen. Stop you from having this celebration, this union. Okay, they may be stopping you from pursuing something that you're dreaming about. Maybe a new career, a new job. Maybe moving to a different location. Someone wants to stop that. They want to stop it in its tracks. Right? So there's something that you need to be aware of. But you also have very good fortune at this time. So things are turning in the direction that you need them, them to turn. You have good fortune. This is a turning point. There's going to be some kind of communication that you've been waiting for. Some kind of wise counsel that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. You know, some kind of abundant new beginning. This could be the job offer that you're waiting for, Virgo. Okay? So I feel like just be patient. Just be patient, right? Let's go ahead and clarify these cards for Virgo. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. For the Emperor, we have the... The Five of Wands. Yeah, this Emperor is watching you. This Emperor is keeping tabs on you. They're watching you very close. Because they feel like, yes, you want to be playful. Or yes, you want to get out and explore the world. Right? And I feel like there is definitely this Emperor energy that's holding you back. That's not wanting you to move any further. Because they want to have control. Okay? They want you to stay in your place. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. So I feel like it's, it's very... It's a very good idea to watch your spending. If you're overspending in an area, it's time to cut back. It's time to put back those pennies, put back those dollars. And start saving your money because I feel like there may be a trip, there may be a homecoming that you're going on. You may be going back home, right? Um, so I feel like um, you, you need to start saving your money for that reason, okay? Um, for the King of Cups, 
we have the Three of Pentacles. So this King of Cups energy, he wants to be very supportive. He wants to collaborate. He wants to team up with you. He wants to um, possibly build something with you, build a project, some kind of job. Um, but this King of Cups is, is supporting you through the actions that you're taking, right? For the Three of Swords, we have the Ace of Wands. So definitely, from this healing, you're getting a better perspective. You're taking action, you know? You're no longer sitting back and waiting for something to happen. You, After this healing occurs, you're like, okay, it's time to go. It's time to do this. It's time to do that. You know, I, I have my focus. I'm working things out. There's some kind of new beginning that you're going on, some kind of new journey. Um, so you could definitely be traveling. Okay. With this six of pentacles, we have the queen of pentacles. So definitely from this fairness, from this gift, this generosity, you're gaining a lot of stability. Okay. I feel like you're gaining more stability than what you expect. Okay. So I feel like, look, we're going from the four of pentacles to the queen of pentacles. So I feel like saving those pennies, saving those dollars really paid off for you, right? For the Magician, we have the Eight of Swords. So someone's blocking you from create, creating something, creating something that you may be manifesting. Someone's blocking you from that energy. It could be you blocking yourself from the manifestation by taking in a lot of negative intentions or speaking a lot of negative words, uh, doing a lot of negative self-talk, right? I feel like uh, someone's blocking your blessings from you. And it could be you. It could be you, Virgo. Be careful what you say to yourself because what you put out into the universe is what you're going to get back. Okay. With this Two of Cups energy, we have the Three of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So after this healing occurs, there's going to be some kind of offer. There's going to be some kind of stability that's offered to you, but this is an offer nonetheless. So someone is giving you this gift. You know, uh, They may be asking you out. They may be giving you a job offer. Uh, something that's going to make you feel much better in your situation. Okay. With the Six of Swords energy, where is Virgo moving? Tell me. The Fool, you're moving into a new beginning. You're taking a new journey. This is a leap of faith. You had to gamble this, right? And you may be very naive to where you're going or what you'll be pursuing. But I feel like all the answers are going to come to you. Definitely. We With this page of wands, we have the two of, of cups again. So definitely some kind of love coming in for you. We've had the two of cups twice. We've had the lovers. Um, and definitely some kind of new beginning with the fool and the ace of wands. So someone is supporting you. Someone cares about how you feel, how you're, how you're doing, right? And at the bottom, we have the Wheel of Fortune again. So definitely good fortune coming your way. These, this is change. This is transitioning into something that's going to be better, right? So that's a very beautiful energy. Let's take a look and see what Virgo is, how Virgo is doing in love. Let's get a message for Virgo. What's going on in Virgo's love life? Okay, we have karmic relationship. Feeling triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So I feel like if this is a relationship that you're ending, you're letting go of this relationship, but you're letting go as friends. You're learning how to work things out. Like I said, there may be children involved. So you may feel like you need to be friendly, be cordial for children. We also have separation. So there is some sadness here. There is someone who is missing you. You may be missing them. 
Um, there's someone who's thinking about you. And you may be unsure about your future, but I feel like this separation is kind of meant to happen, unfortunately. Okay, we also have self-indulgence. So I feel like someone in this relationship, if this is a relationship, someone was totally focused on their self, on their self-worth, on their time to heal, kind of having that victim mentality. Okay, I feel like there's shadow work to be done in this situation. There's a feeling of healing and of really appreciating who you are, who you've become and where you've come from. You know, kind of giving yourself credit for lessons that you've learned and setting your priorities because of that. Not giving yourself any negative speak, right? You know, keeping it positive. Okay, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get your angel number. Let's see what's going on for Virgo next 48 hours. Okay, we have one, two, three, vision. Your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that as you stay the path that feels connected, the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are, okay? Your affirmation, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally, okay? So that is your reading for the next 48 hours, Virgo. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more. And my beautiful, beautiful Virgo, many blessings to you, love and light.